Each news time, information is power. The current, the news headline, how the perceived presidential ambitions of Jonathan and Ushibanju may affect Northerners' interests. The news in full. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, there have been trending political observations that the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, good luck, Ibele Jonathan, and the incumbent vice president would probably decide to join the presidential race come 2023. Although neither former president Goodluck Ibele Jonathan nor the vice president himself, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, has made it known to the public that they would vie for the presidential seat of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2023. But the fact remains that, despite the sensitivity of the perception, none of Former President Ibele Jonathan or Yemi Oshibanjo has convincingly denounced their possibility of participating in the much anticipated polls. However, if by the way, both former governor, uh, President Rada, good luck Ibele Jonathan, and the incumbent Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo decides to join the 2023 presidential race, has been perceived, it will surely have strategic effect on the support of the Netherlands for either of the candidates. While some Northerners may be seeing uh, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo as a gentleman who could easily be convinced in the course of playing the likes of Northern politics, former President Gulok Ebile Jonathan could be seen as an experienced former president who had previously held the position, learned his lessons, and may not want to be played out politically again. Besides, some Northerners may be of the opinion that there are supports for former a president, Gulaki Billy Jonathan, could be considered as a shortcut to the Northerners return to power while their support for President Yemi Oshibanjo may delay the proximity of Northern to Northerners to come back to power around 2031, considering the ethnics of two terms as permitted by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Consequently, there may be higher you know, considerations as regards the issue where the chances of the Northerners to throw support behind former President Ibele Jonathan is actually, you know, high. And if the number of years he would spend in power is put into consideration, they probably would actually support good luck Ibele Jonathan. The Buhari-led administration keeps making records in the army, uh, in the army of the Nigerian military, and coming just a few months after it supplied quite a number of mine-resistant ambush-protected MRAP. Uh, vehicles to the Nigerian army, the Buhari led administration has recently made another history by supplying another set of CSVP3 Bigfoot MRA to purpose armored vehicles to them so as to enhance their conquest of insurgents and other violent criminal groups. The new military hardware were supplied on the 19th of November 2021 and have since been inducted into the Nigerian army ordinance after which they were deployed for combat operations against insurgents and the Northeast, as well as against bandits in the other parts of the country. With these continuous military supplies by Buhari administration, that has become essential to point out that the administration has made Nigerian history about uh, being the best in equipping and arming the country's soldiers, which is an essential element in motivating the troops to serve the nation with all their arts. The new artillery guns for Nigerian army to equip and uh, re-energize the military establishment for optimum performance in securing the territorial integrity of the country. President Muhammadu Buhari administration has brought a new set of artillery guns for the Nigerian army and the new artillery guns were inducted into the armor, armory of the Nigerian army on the 19th of December 2020 at the headquarters of the Nigerian Army School of Artillery, NASA, in Kakia, Kaduna State after which they were deployed against insurgents and other violent groups in the part of the country. Overall, it is a very patriotic step taken by the Buhari administration in equipping and modernizing the Nigerian military establishment that has suffered long neglect from the previous administration. Yet, out-of-school children uh, figure is witnessing a massive rise of funds everywhere. We can't travel in peace. The economy is crumbling. People are born while traveling. The protesters marched from Audubaku secretariat to the Kanu, uh, you know, government house, where security operatives received the group of protesters, listened to them, and promised to take the matter further to the appropriate quarters. 
Meanwhile, following the recent spike in terror attacks in Sokoto and Katsina State, President Mohamed Buhari has dispatched a high-level delegation made up of heads of national intelligence uh, and security services to the two states. According to a statement by the President's senior special assistant of media and publicity, Gaba Shew, on Friday, Buhari expects the delegation or, uh, to, represent, to present an immediate situation report and recommendations on actions to follow to effectively deal with the worrying situation. And also, the Fund Social Democratic Party, SDP, Professor Yowuse Aga has urged separatist agitators to go about the agitations in a civilized manner to avoid bloodshed. In an interview with Vincent Kalu, the Professor Agia, a former senator who has served twice as minister and twice as ambassador, said that the three zones that have produced presidents should wait for the other three zones to have president. After that, he noted that the president should be chosen purely through popular contest, the void of zoning. Many Nigerians have tried to go back in history to situate Nigerians' problems in the amalgamation of 1914. They say that Nigerians' amalgamation into one country should never be taken place because of our differences. These groups insist that the amalgamation's expiry date is over and is now the time for the dissolution of the Federation. But I say these people are wrong. There is no manual for the formation of nations, wars, accidents, imperialism, necessity, agreement, arbitrations, and consensus have all given birth to countries. Our nation was born from imperialism and they became a British colony after the Berlin Conference of 1884 to 1885. But we shook off the shackles of colonialism and emerged as an independent nation. The whole world still uh, understanding that Nigeria would be a great nation and would wipe away the tears of all black people of the world by building a great democracy and a republic where justice and honor, peace and progress will be showcased. The reasons for the failure to attain greatness are that we have poor leaders and poor followers who have not been, uh, who have not been able to make nation building their number one priority. Our leaders have continued to wallow in ethnic racism and corruption. Ironically, it was based on Pan-African unity and nationalism, and our founding fathers got independence. But soon after independence, we have systematically uh, destroyed every fabric of nation building through corruption and ethnic racism. The last six years have been the very worst in throwing up Nigeria's fault lines. The parties have failed to give leadership and they lack ideological commitment, purpose or clarity. The weak institutions of states have been unable to defend democracy, and the Nigerian people have yet not resolved on nation, national greatness. When we decide, nobody can stop us, the professor says. The professor also noted that the Nigerian elite must come together and overcome their apathy and decide to make Nigeria great through comprehensive restructuring of the federation, saying that we need more efficient and uh, learner federal, civil and public service, and that we need the states to be stronger and the federal government to divest itself